Hey, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic and this is Vintage Story. I'm on 1.19.4 still. And um, I've had a real um, struggle as a content creator uh, for this episode because I have done a couple of things. And um, the first thing I did was I went to get iron and I did get a whole bunch of that iron. But I did find a ruin down there that I wanna show you. I did start recording as soon as I found the ruin. Um, but the other thing I did is I took a couple day walk. Uh, and to be honest, I recorded the whole thing. I think it was an hour and a half total. And I didn't, it was boring. It was boring even for me, even for me. So what I did is I went through the teleporter that's here in our mountain and I went, that teleporter goes over here. And then I did this loop, like right around here, trying to look for chalk and limestone. And as you can see, I found mushrooms, I found a few ruins, I found another TL, and all kind of those basic things. But the biggest thing I found was borax. I literally found borax. So between between the time I gathered the iron and I went on this walk, I did start some bloomeries with the iron so we'd have enough for our steel and everything we needed. And then I went for my walk. So uh, we have bloomeries that are going that are probably actually done because I was gone for about three days on our walk. And then I wanna show you the ruin down below. We'll cut to that next, and then I'm going to show you just a couple of highlights from my walk, and then we're going to get to what we're going to do today. Okay, guys, I'm down getting iron, and I had to start recording because I found something. I have been, like, I, like getting iron like crazy. You can see this mass of um, maze I've created. I've been blocking off drifters, and so far I have that much. But I wanted to stop because I just ran into a ruin. Let me... So, I thought I'd start recording. Let me empty my in inventory really quick and we'll go in together. And my sanity is a little nuts. But... Look at this! Oh. Well, look at that huge tapestry. Another room here. And another room here. Oh, look at all of this, you guys. Okay. This is... Oh, there's a door right here. Look at that. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll close that off. We'll start here. Look at that cool globe. I still have my um, obtainable objects on, and I'm going to keep it on for now. My my clutter is obtainable right now, so because I changed it last episode. I am actually recording exact like minutes after I recorded this last episode. So let's uh, that. Hmm. We'll have to figure out how we're going to get all this stuff. Wow. No way. I wanted one of these from the trader. The trader had one, remember? Oh. Locust parts. Jonas parts. A f oh. Mm-hmm. Look at this. That's food. Gear and rye. That's nice. Ooh. Let's take this vessel. Don't really want the other stuff, but... What's in here? More seeds. That's food. These are big containers. I really love these containers. Okay, we're obviously gonna have to come back, but let's do... Um, let's look over here really quick. Oh, there's jail cells. Chains. Dead guys. Oh, there's some bad shit going down here. You know it. Look, there's bones and they have a table with manacles. There's some bad stuff going on down here, guys. Bad stuff. Now, this is a flood. Oh, man. This is a jail cell. What were they doing to these... 
Poor guys. Okay, and there's a gear. And that's just flooded. Okay, well, I wanted to bring you guys in. This is really cool. I'm gonna grab what I can and head back home. Uh, I think that I've, um, my luck is, I've done pretty well with my luck here, so, uh, I think we should come back for some of these containers and things. Okay, so we were here, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and gather these. Because these will be cool in my build. These are the ancient pillars. Okay, what is that there? That's very white. Watch it be granite. Granite looks very white on the map, but I'm, I'm a little bit excited. I wonder if I could get seeds from these giant daisy things. They're a really pretty tree. Hey. Nice. <gasps> Borax. Um, guys, go away. Get. Get. You mangy little creatures. You see what I just found, you guys? A borax. Let's go get it. And not that I freaking need it now. Ugh. The most annoying thing about the sand is having to dig it around so it doesn't collapse on you. But we're gonna do that real quick, and we're gonna go down and get some borax. And there it is. Yay! Oh. I will never take borax um, for granted again. I'm gonna gather up as much of this, you guys, as I can. Oh, look at this. Peanuts. Grab them. Oh. You know I can't turn that down. Maybe we can figure the figure out where some chalk or limestone is. Crazy. Like devoid. I might not have it until I actually have steel and I can go home because Cantha has a lot of um, I don't... It's silly, but I can't even remember whether it's chalk or limestone. But it's sitting on all that basalt and one or the one of the other. But I honestly can't remember right now. My, my memory is not what it used to be, you guys. Not the... Age. No, you guys, most of the time... Yeah, I'm getting old. Most of the time I feel like a teenager still. Like I have so much energy still. And have so much fun. Uh, and feel really good. Especially here lately. I had a rough time about a year ago. And really struggled. Had some pretty major surgery. And really was hurting and was down. Down for quite a while. Uh, oh I'm great. I'm feeling so much better. We're going to run into bears and crap. This is really nasty. This is really nasty. Okay, we're gonna start just heading heading to the west. I'm not gonna go any further north. And this is wolf territory. And a bear. Run, hippie, run. I don't really wanna tangle with that bear. I just... Yep. Wolves and bears in the woods. Have you guys ever been to the redwoods in real life? The real redwoods in Northern California? It is exquisite, you guys. I've been twice in the past couple years. And... There's no silence in the world like in the redwoods. It's quiet and peaceful. It's all- it's almost- it's almost overwhelming. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of this Mexican horsetail. I'm gonna I'm assuming that if I can I can I get the roots? I didn't do that before. I can. Let's grab some of this and grow it around the base. I think. Can I grab Harvested? I can plant can I plant it? I'm really hoping I can plant this. Let's go ahead and uh, get a bunch of this. So guys, I'm struggling with ideas to make 
this grotto in this game uh, the original idea that I thought of is making it kind of modern. So I think that I'm just going to go with kind of like a bohemian, you know, bright colors, um, very, um, you know, organic and bohemian vibe in there. I am really struggling with a way to make the grotto look modern with the materials I have and in this game, right? Um, and the last thing I need this game to be is a struggle. I want to have fun, so I have to let my natural, um, my natural way of design and style take over. And so that's, that's what I'm going to do. We'll, we'll try to tend on the modern side, but I want to use bright clays and everything because it is so dark in there. I think in the real world, you would want things to be as colorful and bright and pretty as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. You know, I forget that there's alligators with the primitive survival and I'm just swimming around the water. Apparently, ooh, purple heart. Oh God, you guys. Um, and I, and I'm kind of just forgetting like, yeah, there are. There are actual, like, crocodiles and, like, alligators I have to be careful of. I don't know, I don't know, like, what kind of water they're in. I have no idea, but that would not be a good way to go. And I'm out here, like, so far away from home, it would be, it would suck to die. Okay, we're back in land that we've been, uh, basically, so... The frustrating part is that I don't know where to go next. Are you mad at me for sleeping in your bed? Jagoda? Hey, I'm gonna walk for a few more minutes, but I think that I've pretty much just decided to count on the fact that I'm gonna get back to Acantha here pretty soon. And that I'm going to be able to, you know, get whatever that, cho whatever the chalk or limestone is that's there and use it, um, in the build. So that was my trip. It was fun, but boring, but worth it because I got Borax. So I don't have to wait any longer to do our steel. So, in my inventory is what I have. Um, I got some rice, peanuts, um, there's my seeds. I got a little bit of corn flour and I found a few resin. Killed a couple of pigs because they were attacking me. And then I got this stuff from regular ruins and, and things like that. So, nothing super exciting, but uh, really good stuff in general. I did get 58 borax and I did quarry some. I quarried 10 of them. And I can always break them down if I absolutely need more borax. But I wanted to check this. 10 days. So we're going to have borax. <laughs> we're going to have borax. Okay, guys, I am grinding the borax by hand because we have zero wind, which means I'm not going to have enough uh, iron to start the cementation right now. But through the power of editing, I will wait until there's wind so we can do some blooms and get cementation furnace going okay the coffin lid is two um rocks solid rocks and two borax and then we have two lids yay <laughs> of course right as the other one is probably about done but what we have here is we have all of these iron blooms that we will process when the wind kicks up but until then, uh, these go um, right here, and we will load them up when the wind is um, going to cooperate. So guys, I thought in the meantime, while we're waiting for the wind, I want to close up this window. Now, I have changed my mind. Oh, look, we have apples on our Peruvian apple right there. So, okay, I'm distracted. We can't pick these. Oh, there you go. I can pick them, but you just have to you just have to target the bottom one. 
I need to plant another Peruvian cactus in here because that's really cool. You can eat these. Nice. Okay, back to my original th idea. I am going to be chiseling by the help of Salty. I will put her Floating Bones um, studio. She does pixel art and I'll put it in the description. But I am going to be chiseling a great big mural. It's actually um, a tree of life right up there. Now I've marked the middle and the sides and it's going to be a big round tree of life that Salty in, that Salty built me inspired from pictures that I sent her um, and it's pixelated. It's really going to be beautiful. And because I'm going to have that great big beautiful mural at the bottom of the window, I was going to originally do a really fancy window here, but I don't want to take away from the from our mural here. So we're going to do a simpler window, but I do have something exciting to show you and we'll go ahead and work on that now since there's no wind. As I do need to get the forge completely blocked off and then we'll make a bunch of light. But I put in the cottage windows here with just regular glass. Um, the cottage windows is listed in my mods list. But here we have a special deal that we can do with the chisel tools. I need to find my pantograph. And I'm also going to get kapok wood because I'm going to be using uh, kapok in this chiseled. Um, in this chisel idea. So we're going to be using these full blocks. It's going to be expensive, but that's okay because we're worth it. We're going to make a bunch of these. We can always break them down if we don't use them. But then we're also going to be using the green olivine glass. And I don't know whether I have enough of it, but we're going to sure try and see if we do. I'm going to saw these in half and I'm going to turn them vertical. Just like that. And I'm going to put one down and I'm going to put it um, so it's vertical up like that. I am going to chisel it by smacking it with the chisel. Thanks, babe. Um. <laughs> My husband just brought me a drink. This is sweetest. So then we're going to smack this with a chisel. Now you see, we end up getting a whole block. Uh, I think that that's probably a glitch. It's annoying. But then what we're going to do is we're going to add one of the KPOC blocks to it. Now there's a new um, update out for chisel tools that when you use the pantograph, you can save a chisel project on your computer. It's pretty amazing. But what we can do is let me just show you as an example. We can chisel something just random. We can just chisel this and then we can just, I don't know, let's just do a little post really quick. We're still waiting for wind, by the way. So then you, you've got a chiseled little post here. And then you can, on with this, you can take the pantograph and copy it, a snapshot mode. Then you can, then you can type dot ef save, and then I'm just gonna say column because this is just a basic wooden column. And you can see it's been saved to the portfolio. Now, if I use the pantograph and I and I click on any block or I target any block and I press P. There is a portfolio now that is saved to your computer that you can pull out into any world. So these are other things that I've chiseled. So there's the column that I chiseled. And because I have looked at the green glass, it's going to show me what it looks like in green glass. But I've also chiseled some windows with olivine and Kpok. So I'm going to select this one and then when I paste that on here, it will make the window what I used from what I used in my creative world. These chisel projects are now savable on your computer. It's pretty amazing. 
So as soon as you chisel it, save it with .pf, save, and then the name. And then when you want to pull it back up, target a chiseled block and press P. And there you go. So these are the windows that I want to make for the window out here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this down because it's in the way. And um, there's probably an easier way to do this, but I what I need to do is just set these up because I want these to be because I want to save a uh, room or save materials. I'm chiseling these so they're upright. We're going to set them all out. I think like this. I don't know how many I need, so I'll start with that many. And then I'm going to add the K-POC to all of them. Since this is a chiseled block now, I'm going to press P to pull up the portfolio. I'm going to take this olivine uh, window horizontal, and I'm going to copy some of them onto these. So I'm going to do horizontal. And then I'm also going to pick some vertical ones, which is this one. And I'm actually going to go back to the horizontal now. And there we have a whole bunch of windows copied just like that from my creative world, which I feel like is amazing. Now, what that means is that doesn't mean that I'm never going to chisel on this world anymore because I have a couple of massive chiseling projects that I'm really looking forward to. But that does mean that I will be spending a little more time in my um, creative world to do some chiseling. So what we're gonna, do, oh my God, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in. Um, and we're gonna put these in around the edge, like this. Uh, actually, Every other one is going to be that one. And then we're going to be going back with these. Uh, yeah. Ow. That's pretty much like me. Okay. I have all of those in. I... I went back and forth between the vertical and the horizontal to make a big square around the outside. Now I'm going to do these windows here. These are cottage windows. It's a mod that I really love. So they're a little, a little expensive to make, but I can show you um, what they are. If we go to window, I want to do the simplest one. So that's these. There's all different kinds of cottage windows you can make. But I want to make these simplest ones, and all the recipes are the same. So we need boards, sticks, and the plain glass slab. So let's gla grab these. There's no reason. Um, I have a lot of uh, quartz around, so there's no reason I can't make more. So I'm going to go ahead and make all of them. And then we're going to take these, and we're going to get some boards and some sticks. So it was like this right like that so that's what I've made in the other windows so we're going to just make a bunch of these and I'm going to get these installed I fell twice guys I fell twice so I'm going to try not to fall again so I'll be right back after I get these installed oh my god I think I got it I think I got them all they're all in and I barely had enough um, I'm going to have to immediately make more glass, but let's go inside and see what it looks like from the inside. I've had to be very careful walking around here. Um, oof. There we go. What do you guys think? Uh, I really like it. We'll look from the bottom uh, in the in this daylight. But there is the final part of the window. Um, I've gone round and round about this, and I and I really like this design. Let's see if there's any wind. 
Of course, there's not any wind. Well, guys, it's really, really my goal to get this completely done and enclosed. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I want to put bamboo in here and I am going to go ahead and take out this layer of this floor. I don't have enough bamboo to put it in, put it in right now, but I do have bamboo all over the place. So I could go, um, I will off camera, I'll go get a whole bunch of bamboo. I got a little bit, but, uh, you can't make slabs out of bamboo, so it doesn't, uh, go far. I think I'm going to use them all like that. And I do know I have some. So let's go ahead and put in what I have. And that's it. And right here... Um, under the chests and stuff, I don't really care. But we'll, we'll have to put in a bamboo. I think we should put in bamboo there. For sure. And then um, around here as well. So I'm going to be taking out all of these, um, all of the quartz, which I need anyway. Okay, we're going to take, I think, and do a little rim around here of the kapok. I'm going to have to move the creepy, the creepy guy. Yeah, I think this will be good. We'll do a little rim of the K-pop around here. And um, here as well. And the rest will be bamboo. And let's see if we can put this dude back and get him to stay. There's, there is a way you can get him to stay. So if we were to take... Um, if we were to take a... Uh, anything that we could chisel. Let's just take this and then set it down. Right there, and then let's chisel, go ahead and chisel this, and I'll show you what I do on the Bohemian server to keep them uh, still. Then take out this middle right here, and he should fit right here, and this will keep him from moving around. Let's see if he fits if I just chisel this part out. Oops, too deep. Okay, let's see if he fits in there. And he does. He will not move anymore. Okay, guys. Uh, it is calm and the wind isn't coming back. So we're going to have to wait for steel next uh, to next episode. This is just the way vintage story goes. The wind is so unpredictable. Chitty chitty no bang. Dang it. Again. I got a little tiny bit of wind. And then it goes away. So I don't have enough um, actually to do... What we need to do but in the meantime i'm gonna go collect bamboo and i'm gonna finish this floor and then i'm gonna do a little bit planning on our potions room because that's going to be one of the rooms we do next uh because i really want to get into the alchemy mod so that'll be next you guys take care stay safe out there thanks so much for being here i'll see you soon